Hello students. In this video, I will discuss the Bible questions based on the solar cell experiment, which is an important experiment in physics and electronics labs. In this experiment, there is study of the series and parallel combination of solar cells, and we have to study the VI characteristic curve of solar cells and we have to find the maximum power point maximum power point is the maximum value of output power p out where the product of voltage and current is maximum from this graph we can see we have the b iv curve and it is the maximum area from this graph it is the maximum power point and the efficiency of the solar cell is defined as eta equal to p out divided by p in and p out we have calculated from this maximum power point and the p in is calculated by using the maximum solar irradiance on earth surface on any clear day it is approximately 1000 watt per meter square so p in in can be calculated by this irradiance into the area of the solar cell so then we can find out the efficiency of the solar cell p in equal to irradiance into area of the solar cell now we will discuss some of the bible questions what is a solar cell solar cell is a photovoltaic device that converts the sunlight into the electricity and they creates the direct current solar cells are made of by pn junction diode what is photovoltaic effect the photovoltaic effect is a process that generates voltage or electric current in a photovoltaic cell when it is exposed to sunlight which materials are used for making of solar cell to construct the solar cells silicon gallium arsenide cadmium sulfides are mainly used tell about the construction and working principle of a solar cell so this is diagram shows the construction of a solar cell and we have a top layer top layer is a transparent anti reflection uh, coating which is used for low reflection of incident light photons so that the light uh, can be absorbed fully and reflection is very less so that's why this coating is top coating transparent transparent coating is there and this top layer also protect the cell from physical damage then we have a p type and n type silicon layers in between and which makes the pn junction this pn junction when light falls on it and they will create some electron electron and hole pairs are generated in the depletion region because you know that in a diode uh, we have some depletion region where the electrons and hole pairs are generated and electron moves towards the n side and holes towards the p side and finally the electric uh, current is generated in the circuit and this electric current uh, to pass this current to the circuit we need some metal electrode or metal contacts from both side so both side we have the metal contacts this may be some any metal or here it is nickel and from both ends they they are used to uh, take the current to the load so this load may be any kind of device or this can be also used for charging the battery so this is the construction of work uh, and working principle of the solar cell it is based on the pn junction diode what is solar panel solar panel is an assembly of photovoltaic solar cells mounted in a frame and what is the efficiency of a solar cell efficiency is defined as the ratio of the energy output from the solar cell to input energy from the sun which factors affect the efficiency of a solar cell 
intensity of light, the angle of incidence, temperature of solar cell, surface condition of the solar cell and type of material used for manufacturing of the solar cell. What is average life of solar cell? So it is around 25 to 30 years. Why can't we use a single solar cell? Because the power generated is very small in a single solar cell and we need combination of cells to get a reasonable voltage. What is difference in solar cell and photovoltaic cell? Solar cells are a type of photovoltaic cells. Solar cells work works with only sunlight whereas photovoltaic cell work with light and it need not to be sunlight. Any kind of light or photons can work for photovoltaic cell. Why silicon is used in most of the solar cells or in solar panels? Because silicon is the most common semiconductor material used in solar cells and around 95% of the modules they are made from silicon and it is also the second most abundant material on earth after the oxygen and it has low weight to volume ratio extended life cycle and very high strength what is symbol of solar cell solar cell is represented by uh, this symbol where we have a battery like symbol in this circle and light is shown by the arrows whereas the photodiode is shown by the pn junction and the light is falling on this pn junction so this is symbol for photodiode and this is symbol for solar cell what are characteristics of a solar cell and using this bi karu the basic characteristics of a solar cell are the open circuit voltage open circuit voltage means if we measure the voltage between two terminals of the solar cell when there is no load it is known as the open circuit voltage or boc here and next is the short circuit current isc short circuit current means when we make the solar cell without load we sort the both the two terminals and now the maximum current flowing through the solar cell is known as the isc it is here so uh, boc and isc this will give us the uh, total power the ideal power p out of the solar cell but in a uh, practical or real solar cell we have the maximum power point is here so im and bm are different than isc and boc that's why we have to use a fill factor it is a quality factor for the real solar cell and in that case the p out will be not isc into boc but it will be isc into boc into fill factor and for ideal solar cell this fill factor is one so using this p out we can get the solar cell efficiency eta and it is defined as the ratio of the output power to the power input and it is expressed in the percentage so for the p out we will use the this factor and p in is uh, we will use the input power so it eta equal to p out by p in into 100 and using this value isc uh, short circuit current into boc open circuit voltage into fill factor divided by p in into 100 this will give us the efficiency of the solar cell so these are the characteristic of the solar cells what are the different type of solar cells and which has higher efficiency so here we are discussing only the silicon solar cells so there are monocrystalline uh, silicon solar cell polycrystalline and thin film or amorphous solar cells and they are defined on their efficiency monocrystalline sample Monocrystalline silicon uh, solar cells have highest efficiency 20%, polycrystalline have 16%, and thin film or amorphous have 10% efficiency. And they, they have some advantage and disadvantage also. So, monocrystalline uh, silicon solar cells are highly efficient but they are expensive. Polycrystallines are, have low cost but they are less efficient. 
thin film solar cells are less efficient and also they have lower efficiency so monocrystalline solar cells are uh, having good uh, around 20% efficiency among the silicon solar cells what is the maximum power point in solar cell the maximum power point is the maximum value of power where the product of voltage and current is greatest what are solar panels and arrays solar cells can be electrically connected together exactly the same way as batteries are connected and currents added when connected in parallel and stay the same and when connected in series while voltages added up when connected in series and they stay the same when connected in parallel so using the solar cells modules can be made and these modules are arranged in a solar panel and these solar panels make some arrays and these arrays are used for producing the electricity for different applications what is solar irradiation and what's the average value of it on earth surface so solar irradiation is the amount of electromagnetic radiation received from the sun per unit area so from the sun this radiation is coming so on earth uh, it is usually taken the power per unit area and average annual solar radiation arriving the top of the earth atmosphere is around 1361 watt per meter square but due to the attenuation due to, uh, by atmosphere we get approximately 1000 watt per meter square at the sea level on any clear day so at sea level or on the surface of earth we get the 1000 watt per meter square so this is the solar irradiance irradiance at uh, surface of the earth so what are applications of solar cells they are used in calculators watches and other small devices and they are used in electric fences in the border areas and in remote far farming fields and they are uh, for the remote lighting system and also used in traffic signals and traffic cameras in water pumping and water treatment they are for the emergency power and for charging the battery in space applications they are used in artificial satellites and space stations and used in portable power supplies and also there are uh, some uh, solar cars are there which are using the solar power so uh, this was the all about the study of the solar cells uh, thanks for watching video and please subscribe the channel also and in next video i will discuss the experiment on energy band gap by four probe method so thank you very much